Now it's also true that in finding sanctuary and refuge and returning home, that while we need to do it in our own unique way, we need one another. It's a kind of funny thing. Again, you know, like remembering your Buddha nature and your zip code, there's a certain way in which you need to face your aloneness and despair all by yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. And at the same time, we need each other desperately. And we can't completely do it alone. Isn't that also true? What story to read? Oh, this one, just because it's fun, even though I read it recently. From Fran Peavy, activist and friend. One day I was walking through the Stanford University campus with a friend and saw a crowd of people with cameras and video equipment on a little hillside. They were clustered around a pair of chimpanzees, the male running loose and the female on a chain about 25 feet long. It turned out the male was from Marine World Africa and the female was being studied for something or other at Stanford and who I thought were the spectators were actually scientists and publicity people trying to get them to mate. The male was eager, you know how that goes. He grunted and grabbed the female's chain and tugged. She whimpered and backed away. He pulled again. She pulled back. Watching the chimps' faces, I began to feel sympathy for the female. Suddenly, the female chimp yanked her chain out of the male's grasp, and to my amazement, she walked through the crowd straight over to me and took my hand. <laughs> then she led me across the circle to the only other two women in the crowd, and she joined hands with us. And the three of us stood together in a circle. I remember the feeling of that rough palm against mine. The little chimp had recognized us and reached out across all the years of evolution to form her own women's support group. <laughs> So there is the finding of sanctuary, and at the same time there's also the sanctuary that we offer to one another. My friend Annie Lamott puts it this way, she says, my mind is like a bad neighborhood, I try not to go there alone. <laughs>
we cannot become a mature person if there's not some field of relationship that's going on. We're influencing each other all the time. So to realize the truth of who we are means really to be engaged with each other. And the challenge is we're so conditioned to feel separate. And when we feel separate, we think something's wrong with us and they go together. 